Every time I glance through a scientific paper on human biology and the earth sciences, I feel a deep sense of awe. For me, the patterns observable in the vanishingly small elements of natural systems are wondrous beyond expression. And yet, when it comes to mankind's ability to understand how our brains work, I'm struck by how completely dumb we are. That goes for scientists too. Collectively, we're unable to face the facts about how our neuronal systems operate. We continue to parrot age-old mythologies about how the human brain is wondrously different from the brains of other animals, and our behavior is powered by knowledge, and our actions are the result of conscious thinking. I argue, in my recently published book, How to Understand Everything, Consilience, A New Way to See the World, that researchers on the front lines of many disciplines have revealed enough about nature's marvels that, if we aspire to be honest, we can recognize how our brains operate and the roots of our social instincts. The word consilience sounds like consultation and agreement. Actually, its linguistic origins are different. It is a word that was coined in 1840 by the British cleric and polymath William Hewell, the same man who coined the word scientist. He derived it from the Latin words com, which means together, and cilians, which means jump. And so consilience is the jumping together of different insights and realms of knowledge. I believe the age of consilience is arriving. Not because of the power of knowledge, but instead because it is now evident how our brains operate. We have to acknowledge that the way we think we think is not how we thought. Consilience exposes how all brains, including yours and mine, are dipolar, and each of us is instantly and fluidly tribal. It's time we face the facts about the limits of reason and humanity's vulnerabilities, perhaps through the jumping together of different realms of human experience, we can appreciate their value and open our hearts to diverse viewpoints.